position. Safira, 20 feet is the distance where the isolated bumper is. So the objective here not to catch the bumper, simply knock it off. So Safira, no problem getting that 20 foot mark. Reese was scheduled to go, but we're moving on to Jato. Jato will go for the 20 foot mark. Two dogs have opted out of going for 20 feet, which means they'll go to 21. So the, obviously the strategy here is to get warmed up a bit before the 21 foot mark. Two, two dogs decided to pass on that opportunity. Jato and Ashley Reifers, Reifers, excuse me, from Gilroy, California. So 20 feet is the distance the bumper is set off. The objective is to just knock it off, doesn't matter. If the dog secures the bumper in the mouth, even though they're still doing a nice job at that, grabbing the bumper at the 20 foot mark, no problem, is Jado. So then we'll go to the 21 foot mark now. So Safira now back on the stage for the 21 foot attempt from Ramona, California. Safira, two-year-old female Belgian Malinois. And if you just joined us, we are live from Huntington Beach, California for our Fetch It competition. I'm Trace Worthington. Next to me, Shaleen Cockrell. And we are deciding who will get a spot to the national championship finals. Our Eastern regionals already took place over a month ago in Atlanta, Georgia. So now we're clear across, across the country in the West Coast. So Safira made the 20 foot mark. Reese took a pass. We won't see Reese. Jado made it to the 20 foot. Now Safira back to tr attempt a 21 footer. So her first attempt here at this distance, and it's always interesting to know, we're not talking inches here. The difference is in feet once they pass one mark. So 12 inches out further, the bumper over the water. No problem. Takes it down on her first attempt. Right, right up to the edge right in line and wow up and over and down on that bumper there was no reaching for that at all so reese who decided to take a pass on the 20 foot mark will begin and have her first attempt being 21 feet and reese is a two and a half year old female german short hair pointer beautiful dog making the way out on the stage and most of the competitors do bring the dogs up to the edge of the dock first. They want to make sure that the dog knows what they are going after, that they see that bumper hanging out there over the water. And that is what they are supposed to retrieve. So they let them see it and then bring them back for their running start. So unlike diving dog, this is not only about distance, but about having the height, because they have to get the hang time to stay up there and knock that bumper down. Here we go. 21 feet, not a problem at all. Wow. Put that dog in the diving dog competition. Piece of cake, no doubt. Height like that, and right up to the edge, great to look how high, out of camera <laughs> yeah. view, and almost had to reach back into her body to grab the bumper. So. Reese definitely going to be going further than 21 feet. Our incredible diving dog winner went 30 feet earlier today. Oh, Reese uh, has, has the goods. She has the goods to get out in that 30 foot mark. Little headwind, as you can see. Blowing straight back against them. Yeah. 
But on this one, at least they're not throwing the bumper trace like we were talking about, that that could make it tough on those throws. Yeah. This one just hanging there. It is swaying a little bit in that breeze. The direction they're diving, by the way, is you see the coast in the background. You see the ocean in the background, and that exact the wind is coming off the coast, and that's where that headwind has been created from. So very challenging. No, oh, this is Jado, 21 feet. Nope. A little two bit short. Two attempts though, right, Shalene? Yes, two attempts, and the dogs, amazingly, are able to make adjustments on that. So Jado probably realized, huh, I did not get out there far enough, so this time he's going to know he needs to put a little bit more oomph behind it, and many times they can correct on the second jump and get the distance and the proper height to be able to knock that down, but definitely short on that first one. And again, it doesn't have to be, the bumper does not have to be secured in the dog's mouth. It just simply has to be knocked off of that apparatus. And all the way down. Not You can't be left hanging by one side or anything like that. Oh, all yeah. the way into the water. Jado, get your toy. Ready? Get it. Where's your toy? Hey, where's your Jado's toy? second yeah, attempt at 21 feet. Yeah, the ball. <laughs> Getting in focus. This is this is the goal. Here's what we're going for. Doesn't get it here. Out of the competition already. After only two rounds. All right, here we go. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Never seen that happen before. <laughs> Jado like, yeah, he pulls back early, thinking he doesn't have the goods on that one. He needs to go get focused again, I guess. Where am I going? What am I going after? There Good it though. is. Do you see it? That was smart dog. I mean, yeah, I was going to say, that, that could have been the game changer. It might be the game changer, depending on the result here. Interesting. And there you could tell that he really did see it that time. The first time I wasn't really sure because he was kind of looking around, but I think he saw it. So now hopefully he'll be on target and go for it. Or not. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening down here. There's one way to get behind on the daily schedule, Shalene. <laughs> this is true. This, is <laughs> this would be one way. <laughs> Where is it? Put it out. Put it out. So there we go. Does he? Is he not? Because now remember in the. Do we have that camera angle looking out towards the beach? It might be hard for the dogs to see this because it's so overcast here today. You see, it's hanging there and it's up above any of the people. So yeah. they might be looking at it against the clouds back there and not have it be a real clear target to hit. I can barely see it. So she's starting in closer now to see if this will make a difference. Yeah. Ah. And at least he jumped, but definitely didn't have the power behind that to be able to take it down. So Jado just couldn't cut it on the second attempt at 21 feet. So Jado is now eliminated after this round. So four dogs remain in the competition. We'll move on to Hookah next. So Hookah took a pass. On the 20. On the 20 foot distance. So this will be the first time we see Hookah jump, trying to take down the bumper at the 21 foot mark. Puka is a Belgian Gronendale. Wow, I, I got a lesson on Belgians the other day from Chris Libs, who is uh, Hookah's owner. And the Belgian shepherds are divided and named after certain towns, like the Malinois, the Gronendale, and I think there's two or three other towns. And they're differentiated in most in, in other countries like that, as opposed to just being a, a Belgian Malinois. So it's very, very interesting how this breed is broken up and differentiated. So this is the Fetch It competition here at our Western Regional Championships. Uh, the here in a pro, 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 pro. 
You read the pro play in the Cradle Dog Challenge. Can I've only said that 4,000 times. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Hook Here we go. first jump. Oh, off to the side. Off the, I was talking to Chris earlier, and she said that uh, in practice, Huka easily took down a bumper at 24 feet and almost got it down at 25. So right there, just not in line to take it down. So let's hope they can correct and she can get straight on it because she definitely has the power to get out to these distances and take the bumper down. And this is just one of the things that Huka does. Uh, she is also a, a ring dog, which is competitive for... Mondio ring, is that what it's called? I think it's French ring is what ah. she does, but same type of thing for, for bites and taking down and she does agility as well and also fetch it here today. So this dog involved in a lot of different sports. Second attempt for Hookah, 21 feet. So hopefully she can line up right on this time. Nice. There you go. Still seemed a little bit off, but she curved her body midair and still took it down. So, you know, a lot of factors here, just getting in the right placement. As you can see there, completely twisted her body off to the side to grab it, but definitely had the height and the distance to be able to do that. So they'll survive another round and give it a shot at 22 feet. Moving on to our fifth competitor and final competitor here in this round of 21 of the 21 foot mark in Brooklyn. Brooklyn will come out here in a minute with Pam Sheets from Fallbrook, California. The seven year old female Labrador Retriever again is one of the last of five in Fetch It. Two have advanced so far, three have advanced to the next round so far. Zafira, Reese, and Hookah. So first try here, and I don't know if you just said um, Trace, but uh, Brooklyn got third place in our diving dog competition earlier. Very nice, so a little bit different skill set here, but the jumping the same, getting the height and taking it down, no problem. Brooklyn also got third at the national championship finals in Fetch It at a 23 foot grab in fetch it to secure a third place spot at the national championships last year. So just like human athletes though, you know, dogs have on days and off days and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, in diving dog, we saw that with Indy. We know she can jump huge, holding the record at 33 feet, 10 inches today. Didn't even get near that. Mark. Right with just some bad takeoffs and and who knows what so see the the coast on the south side but on the north side behind her is the Pacific Coast Highway that's pretty cool PCH you're seeing a lot of cars and motorcycles whizzing by Shalene got my direction straight. <laughs> I'm like, wait, the ocean is west. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always thinking of Mexico. <laughs> yeah, you've been too many places announcing too I'll many things, too many. Trace. You're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> I go to Copenhagen next week. I don't even know what's there. <laughs> All water events. Okay, here's the replay, taking a look. Right up, wow, to the edge, big height, piece of cake. So no problem for Brooklyn. And that no, that's Safira. Oh, Safira, sorry. Safira at 22 feet. That's a foot more in distance, and man, she made it look like it was easy. Still high and coming down on the bumper, not even having to reach for it. 
All right, so next up is Reese once again. Passed at 20 feet, took it down on her the first attempt at 21 feet. And we'll see what she can do here. She doesn't want to back up. She's ready to go get it right now. Shalene, how do these guys train this? I mean, it, it's difficult to probably to build that fetching apparatus, you know, into the water, into a lake and all that stuff. Probably just more diving dog training than anything. Yeah, wow. And she takes it down easy. Yeah, a couple of them. In fact, I was talking again with Chris Libs about hookah. Look at how high. Gee, coming down 22 feet. Easily done for Reese. Um, but Chris Libs was saying, you know, we haven't even done this that many times. Yeah. So I think as long as they, you know, know how to jump off the dock and to get out into the water, uh, that just getting them focused on that bumper. I mean, that's what their drive is. That's what they're all about. So they see it hanging there instead of being thrown. And I mean, these dogs are amazing. So bring out Hookah again for this 22 foot attempt in our fetch it competition of the Western Regional Championships. The Purina Pro Plan Incredible Dog Challenge. Jado was in the mix and then got knocked out at 21 feet. So the only dog to be eliminated so far out of the five dogs is Jado. So Jado, so Hookah and then Brooklyn. Now, Hookah missed on the first attempt at 21 feet, then was able to make adjustments and take it down. So, Bumper now moved out 12 inches farther above the pool. Let's see if she can make the adjustment on the first one. Way off to the side. Way off to the side. So, first attempt is a miss. Let's see if the distance looks like it was there. Way off to the side, good height. Ah, it looks looks short from that camera angle. So if she can just put a little bit more power in that jump and get a straight line on the bumper, she might be able to take it down. But that that's some big, a couple of big adjustments to make. Well, you can hear her. They all come to the end of the stage. See it, see it. You can hear her. Yeah, because they don't know what they're going after. Yeah, then, like then you said. Lost. Yeah, like you yeah. said, Shaleen, There's like a, there's a lot of people at the end, and, and and that bumper is just white. It's just kind of blending in with with a lot of the color of the of the people's shirts in the background. And right here, you can get a good shot of that. Now, the bumper is right out in the middle of that, but you see all of the contrast and somewhat camouflage. Well, it's either. I'm not sure if they're. <laughs> Line of sight is uh, just short, not being able to to pass. So Hookah's going to go out at 22 feet, which is unbelievable. Like I said, just before coming here, took down a bumper at 24 feet and almost got one at 25. So just circumstances. But looking, I can't tell if the bumper is blending into people that are standing back there, or if it's high enough above the water that it's blending into like the ocean and the clouds. Not sure what the line of sight is for the dogs. But that can definitely make a difference. All right, so here we go with Brooklyn. Three dogs left in the competition. Brooklyn hasn't gone for the 22 footer yet. So here's your final dog. That will go at the 22 foot bumper. And if successful, we'll move on to the 23 footer. Either way, Safira and Reese have advanced to the 23 foot round. Pam Sheets is the handler there, retired bus driver after 14 years. Brooklyn, Brooklyn letting you hear her excitement. And now it's all business. And wow. Get it? Nice. Yes. Piece of cake. Look so at another that. One, another one advances. Three survived the 22 foot round. In Safira, Reese and Brooklyn will now go for 23 feet. And getting a little belly rub for a job well done. Again, the wind kind of blowing back at him on this event as well. Let's shift to do a little bit of a uh, crosswind. Wait. Wait. 
So this is where it usually gets pretty tricky for the dogs. This 22 to 23 foot range is normally where a lot of dogs go out. But we do have some big jumpers here, so we're going to have to see what happens. It's a pair of just a baby, two year old female Belgian Malinois. Very excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> So again, if you just joined us, this is the Fetch It competition. Next, we will go on to the field next to the pool here for the 30 weave up and back, and then we'll cap things off at the Western Regional Championships with the Freestyle Flying Disc competition. Top dogs head to the National Championship Finals. That's what's on the line. IncredibleDogChallenge.com is the place to go and spread the word if you feel that your friends want to watch this event live and oh no my problem for Safira at the 23 like foot attempt. Did a little weave there and then got right up to the edge. One foot was off the dock and she still got that much power to easily take it down. That was impressive. Hey, she, nah, she's not giving up that toy. That's what it was all about. I got this bumper, it's mine. That's a big jump. Good job, sir. All right, coming back up to the stage, Reese, another young dog. Shalene, you mentioned the two-year-old Safira. Reese is only two and a half years old, and I'll tell you what, from the early rounds, very strong, powerful dog has had no problems getting the 20 foot, 21 and 22. Because there's so much height. Safira and Reese, I mean, just the height on coming down on the bumper makes a huge difference. So if she can just adjust again, a whole foot difference compared to the last takedown at 22 feet. Wow. Nice. Wow. We have some big jumpers here today. Look at this. Right up to the edge, on track, and love that angle. Grabbing it and taking it down, no problem. Great job by Reese. So now Reese and Safira will advance to the 24-foot round. One more dog in this round of 23, and that is Brooklyn. So two dogs moving forward. Will it be three? Brooklyn took it down on the first attempt on both 21 and 22 feet. So hopefully when she goes out here to the edge of the dock, she realizes how much further away this bumper is. <laughs> Getting a little pep talk for wanting that toy. Can she do it? <laughs> oh, just shaking, ready to go. Nope. Ah, oh, just short. Let's take a look here, coming up to the edge of the dock. Enough height, just drop. Oh, I think, I think she might be able to readjust. That was very close. She needed just a few more inches to stay to stay up to be able to grab that and take it down. So we get two attempts. One first one not successful. Here we go with the second one. At 23 feet, two dogs have already advanced to the 24 foot round. So either way after this, we are going to see a 24 foot attempt. We'll just see if Brooklyn joins that group. Taking her back out again to the end to get her focus on that. I mean, I just try and think about how difficult this would be for a human to make a foot adjustment. You know, it's one thing if it's going out by, an, you know, an inch or two at a time, but that's a yeah. pretty big adjustment it is to make. Huge, yeah. And how much, you know, strength and force and height and everything else you need.
Yes. Yes. It's all it takes. <laughs> Take it. Just need to knock it down. Wasn't in her mouth, but she hit it hard enough that it's taken it <laughs> off of the holder there. So, all right. Brooklyn oh. advances. Pam's reaction to the back <laughs> was great. Classic. <laughs> so three are in for the 24-foot round. No question, this is uh, probably going to be a deciding factor in the 24-foot round. Yeah. Actually, I'm pretty sure that our longest jump, and our producers help fill me in if you know, is maybe 23 or 23.6. It might be the biggest that we've ever had. So, so tw okay, so a dog has taken it down at 24 before. So this would be tying what our record currently is. And we will cross this path when we get there. However, if no success at 24 feet for all three dogs, then we go back to a 23 and Six. a half foot yes. round. So that's how it works there. So we bring back up Safira once again. Ramona, California. Yeah, she's a talker. She's not focused out there very much, so I hope she's uh, calculating how far out that is. 24 feet, when you just think about that, and having to maintain air hang time 24 feet out, it's really unbelievable. So tying the record right here, 24 feet. Can Safira do it? We've got Rocky music playing. <laughs> I was just thinking. Whoa! Whoa! Piece of cake! Right on that. Absolutely took it down. Full mouth grab, and there you go. Safira has tied our record. Rocky music always gets me pumped up. I think that's what did it. <laughs> Ray. So. And the other competitors are like, oh boy, I'm next. There's, I gotta be able to do that. There's the cool thing for Safira is Safira will now get to go for the world record and be the sole holder of it at 25 feet. But Reese looking on and now making her way back up onto the stage with handler Tamara for a 24 foot. Lee Pierce. This is interesting. Two young dogs. Well, then Brooklyn's seven years old. So you just see the, the, the difference. Uh, versus the, the seven year old. Yeah, the difference in the ages. Huh. And still all of them uh, flying high and healthy. Of course, Purita and Purina Pro Plan, very. I mean, just do such a great job with the nutrition part. For all the dogs. For all these sporting dogs. Yeah. For sure. Oh, bad takeoff. There was about a foot, I think, on the dock that she left behind there. And definitely can't do it. Look at the height is totally there, but that distance that she lost on the takeoff uh, is a big factor, I think. I don't know if we have a replay that shows the dock takeoff on that one before she tries to make corrections here on her second attempt. But definitely needed to get up closer. Get up closer on the launch and then hopefully she can do it. This is her second attempt. That was her first miss of the day, by the way. She's like, what's going on? I need to get that. Hopefully the adjustment can be made. Here we go. Folks. Reese. Oh. And not going to happen. The takeoff again for some reason on this, this one. A little bit far back on the dock. So that costs some distance. Height definitely there. The distance was not. So Reese is going to go out at 24 feet. One All dog right. remains. One Grace. dog remains. 
in this fetch it competition. Safira right now has made it through and will attempt a 25 foot jump following Brooklyn's attempt at 24. I mentioned Purina and all the great things they do with the Pro Plan brand. Five platforms that they present here with all the sporting dogs, including Saber and Bright Mind, Natural, the brand Focus, and then Sport. She focuses on fine-tuning nutrition to promote strength and endurance. And I know for my dog, uh, I don't compete in all the sports, but had sensitive skin and stomach, and their formula solved a lot of our problems with that. So very specific to the needs of your dog. Here we go, Brooklyn's attempt at 24 feet. Just shy, we'll get another shot. Just shy, right up to the edge, which is perfect. Good height and almost there. So Brooklyn might be able to make those adjustments to get a few more inches and take that bumper down. <laughs> Do a little rollover at the end of every grab. That's pretty cute. A lot going on around these events as well. When you come to these live, if anyone ever has a chance to come to the Eastern Regional Championships or Western Regionals live, there's a lot of cool things. There's a lot of bunch of tents and sampling tents. And of course, the National Championship Finals at Purina Farms, just outside of St. Louis. Yeah. Always a great one to go and see the grounds there and experience it all. But in person, in person is always different than watching it on TV. It's, it's definitely a neat spectacle to see the live. All right, second attempt for Brooklyn at 20. Four feet. Now, if Brooklyn succeeds, then Brooklyn will go head to head with Safira in the 25 foot round. If not, Safira will bring home this Western Regional Championship title and also have a shot at going for a 25 foot bumper to secure and be the only owner of the yeah. new world record. Here we go, Brooklyn. Nope. Brooklyn doesn't do it. Safira will win. And also get a shot at going for a 25-footer. So just short there for Brooklyn and Pam Sheets, who were pretty lucky to even get to this 24-foot round, Shaleen, because they barely made it in their second attempt at 23. So we'll settle it up at Reese will be in second because Reese advanced sooner than Brooklyn in the 24 foot round. So, so yeah, Reese had no misses leading right. up and we did have one miss from Brooklyn. So that's how they determined the second and third place uh, titles there. So now Safira just gets to try and uh, set a new record here, Trace. Yeah, tied, well. tied for the current record right now and our winner here at the Western Regionals. So I think we'll have to decide what, 24 and a half, or 25? 24 okay. and a half or 25. So 24 is the record. So if you want to be the sole owner of the new world record, you can go for 24 and a half or yeah, 24, 24 five. Four, She's, six right That was now. she decided on 24, six. So that's where we're at. Good call. <laughs> Right? Because you can always yeah. go for the 25 you after that. Yeah. So. Exactly. Exactly. So, folks, this is a 24 and a half foot attempt by Safira, the two and a half year old Belgian Malinois. And she doesn't look like her energy has dwindled at all. No. She looks like she's raring to go. Can she do it? This would be a new record right here in the making. Of course she doesn't know that, but we all do. All right. Ready? Here we go. For a new world record and fetch it. Oh, 
just she was kind of off to the side on that one. Off and trying to twist. I don't. Oh, she's right there. I think if she lines it up, she could take that down. One more attempt at 24 feet 6 inches. Success will earn them the new world record title, title, the new world record distance and fetch it. Look at what's up there. Failure to get it. They will still win here at the Western Regional Championships. They have now secured a spot at the National Championship Final, so they've accomplished a lot so far. So regardless of the outcome, Safira and Melissa Ness are pretty psyched. <laughs> Definitely. It's pretty cool, though, to come back next year, the, or at least go to the National Championships as, as the world record holders. <laughs> yes, not, that, not would, that would be nice. Oh, look at that. Talking to Mama. Ready to go. Ready to do this. Let's do it. Safira! Boom! Oh, wow. Wow. What a perfect jump. And it was right at the end of the climactic music and the crowd. That was a moment. And a new world record here in Fetch It. 24 and a half feet. Congratulations, Melissa Ness, Safira, new world record holders. So now do they get to go to 25 if they choose? I guess so, because she took it down on her second miss. So do we second attempt? We'll see. Right now, that is it. That is the mark for every dog to beat set here in Huntington Beach. Okay, so up on stage right now, Melissa is notating that she wants to see the replay. So she's getting to watch it right there on the big screen. I think she's trying to judge how easy this came down. If she thinks Safira has more in it, in her to go on to 25 or not. Is she calling it good? I don't know. I think she's going to go decide. Okay, she is going to go for 25. Maybe take just a little break. Let Safira get a drink of water. Back behind stage there. And get ready to go again. I mean, this takes a lot of energy to just keep doing this back to back to back. Yeah, but it looks like Safira is pulling her up there. She's ready to go. All right. Jump like a girl, Safira. Following this fetch it competition, head to the field. 30 weave up and back gets underway, followed by freestyle flying disc. Here at the Western Regional Championships, Purina Pro Plan Incredible Dog Challenge. Melissa Ness and Safira now going for a 25 foot fetch it jump. They now hold the world record, the sole owners or sole holders, excuse me, of the world record at 24 and a half feet. Can they make it 25 and pat it a little bit? Ooh, yes. yes. She just took that down? Oh, I didn't even, oh, wow. 25 feet right there. You are witnessing history here. Not once, but twice breaking the record and get this. She was a qualifier to this event, meaning that she came out and jumped to get a spot to try and compete today in our actual event. Wasn't invited, so she came here, obviously did great in the qualifying rounds and is now going home our champion and a new world record holder. So broke the 24 foot mark at 24 and a half, just broke it again on her first attempt at 25 feet. 
So I guess we're doing 25 and a half feet now. Wow. <laughs> Looks like Safira says, yep, let's do it. I'm ready to go. I mean, she made that adjustment to the 25 foot mark trace, no problem. She was right on it. Yeah, I mean, the Man. other thing too is the repetition, like you were talking about earlier, it's not like these guys are able to train this a lot. So, no, no. So, but this is their training. So this is the repetition that they've been waiting for. And so once they get comfortable with it time after time, they're starting to understand where the bumper is. So it goes to the advantage of the dog to at least get to these next rounds because they learn something every single time. And so that's why you're now seeing her just like figuring it out here in Huntington Beach as she goes on, as she moves on through the rounds. So Man. 25 feet, six inches. That is far. To stay up high enough and jump far enough to be able to take that bumper down at that distance. Let's look at the replay to see how close she was. She seemed high enough. I think it was just a distance factor. Let's look. Up high, 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 high. Oh, fell short. So I think going to have a second attempt here and going to have to keep the hang time a little bit longer and farther. So hopefully the adjustment can get made. It would be amazing. Never seen a dog go this far before. Be interesting to see the uh, the total distance after the bumper and landing in the water, just to compare it to the diving dog competition, right? So I mean, you uh, saw her. The dog actually went down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, true. True. I wonder. A little bit of shift in wind too, Shaleen. Just now hitting him from the side a bit. Instead of instead of right from the front, yeah. It's kind of coming from from the south. I got it straight this time. Coming up, <laughs> yeah. up the coast. So they're pushing that flags are just pushing directly, not directly north, but a little bit, and it kind of shifts back into a headwind. Back no, and all forth. Of the, we have several flags around the arena, and they're actually blowing different directions from one end to the other. Yep. So, a lot of breezy. Circling. <laughs> different directions of wind happening out here. <laughs> Giving Safira a little bit of a break here before she does her uh, final attempt at 25 feet, six inches. I mean, she's been jumping straight now. Almost four, four or five times. So this'll do it. Her last attempt at uh, padding her impressive world record now to 25 feet, six inches or being happy with the new record a foot further than anyone has ever jumped before at 25 feet. Can't go wrong here, Trace. Yeah, no. It's a good day either way for these guys. Reason to celebrate tonight here in Huntington Beach. Melissa Ness, Safira, 25 and a half. Nope, they'll still settle for 25 feet and still be the new world record holders in Fetch It and punch a ticket to St. Louis for the national championship finals. So a big day.